as I take, think about developing a team, something I did totally different this year in, in working with my cabinet, I open up by showing them a video of the five, dis, the five dysfunctions of a team. And we watch that three minute video and we start talking about our next three cabinet meetings or four cabinet meetings. We took apart each one of the dysfunctions and what is it we need to do to become great. We're good, but how do we get to the next level? And one of the things that I think hurts a team is the accountability piece, is that we don't want to hold each other accountable and the trust uh, build it, making sure we trust each other to take our, our team to the next level. And uh, when I think of our team, I don't want anybody on my team that's afraid to tell me, no, that's not a good idea. Just because my name holds the title as superintendent doesn't mean that I reign supreme and I have all the answers. I want someone in that room who's much smarter than I am, who can think through it. Whereas I may be a long-term visionary person, I need someone to be detailed and make the steps out. Uh, that's how I think you develop a team is not having everyone just like you. You want someone who can fill in those details, who thinks differently, and look at different perspective how you reach your goal. Well, one of the things I tell our folks all the time, a, a divided house will fall. Mm -hmm. And you know, you gotta be on the same page and not that we'll agree on everything, but right. you know, we come together and meet and talk about something. We we may have different ideas and we may not agree, but when we walk out of that office we gotta be one team. Right. Uh, we gotta be united. We use one heartbeat and uh, as our slogan and, and that's the way it's gotta be. We gotta be on the same page. Uh, because people can pick up very easily when there's tension right. uh, amongst leaders. And so uh, that piece is very important to be on all the same page. And, you know, we try to do a lot of things, with, you know, from meeting weekly to, uh, you know, in the summertime trying to get together as well. Kind of a more of a less of like a retreat a little bit. Kind of, you know, let's, let's, let's develop some vision and where we're headed this uh, year and, um, you know, try to get that. But then also I believe there's a time where you got to be family too. And so right. uh, we'll bring all the families together uh, like at Christmas and things like that and, and be a family because I think that's important as well that you not only grow as a team, as a as an administrative team, but also grow as a family. Right. And that's so important that you are cohesive in doing that. But the other thing for us when we work together as a team is to be honest if we bring a project, you're doing a project and you bring it before the team, we don't always say, oh, that looks great, move forward with it, but let's critique it to make sure it's what we want it to be and be able to take constructive criticism and not stick your head in a hole and say, oh, they don't like the work, they're picking on me. But it's about the students. What are we going to do in the best interest of the students? It's not about us. In leadership, I, I constantly tell all of my leaders, it's not about you, it's about the students, it's about our customers, it's about our stakeholders that we're making these decisions. Well, I think it's important when you when you hire people that they understand the perspective that, you know, we are all in this together. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not a divided house. And, you know, one of the things that, that I do whenever I hire uh, new people, whether it's a teacher or a paraprofessional, whatever, uh, we host them over at our home mm -hmm. before the school year starts. And uh, we cater to them and them and their family are invited. And just to try to set off that, you know, we're a family from the very beginning that's, you know, non-threatening and get to know each other uh, before the school year ever starts. And uh, I think, you know, that's that's a key piece that we've been doing for quite a while that makes people be comfortable uh, from the beginning and understand that, that we're all in this together and we are one family. And there's times where obviously you have to have those tough conversations. Correct. And when you have a relationship with your people, then that having those tough conversations is easier. Right. Uh, when you have that relationship and you, they know you care and that you are doing and helping them in their best interest, I think that goes a long ways. And for us at the district office, one of the things we try to model is that there's nothing we won't do that a teacher is doing. So when the pandemic hit, substituting, going out in the classrooms, being in classes. So when we students see our faces, it's not who's that person 
why are they in our classroom? They know us that two to three days a week, it's on our calendars to do school visits, to be out there among the, the students and the staff. And uh, our words are always, how can we support you? That's what I want the district office, our district office to be, not you people on the hill. You know, you just tell us what to do. You're not out here. Uh, so, yes.